All right, so what we've been working on is retaking the back. Um, I'm just gonna kind of show one perspective on this. So one of the ideas that we've been looking at is the idea that I can largely predict that my opponent will want to escape when I put him in back control, okay? And, and largely what that's gonna look like is he's gonna try to get to this side, he's gonna kind of trim down, he wants to get off of that lower hook, right? So what we've been implementing is, over here, come in here, is, you know, a kind of breaking system, okay? And, and trying to understand how I can I, I can't really hope to always just stop everything completely, but I can um, slow things down a little bit. So one of the breaks that I'm gonna put on is, as we start to get to that side, I've got my head ahead of his head, which is helpful because he wants to put his head on the ground. And this is the only way I'd ever be able to choke him. Number two, instead of having my foot here, I'm gonna try to bring it over the course of the top. It's not that he can't get it out, but I've created a, a bigger and more challenging barrier for him. Another uh, break that we've been working on, sorry, I keep getting your hair in my mouth. <laughs> um, <he's not> <laughs> I'll just keep rolling, but <laughs> um, is I that? can take this foot and I can put it up on his hip, and then I try to take my own hip slightly off the ground. I'm not pushing in there super hard, but I can push a little bit um, to kind of make it harder for him to create a bridging motion with his own hips. Now, as he starts to get past these defenses, okay, which is, if I do nothing, perhaps an inevitability. So he's starting to wiggle his hips, and he's starting to get out, and I'm intentionally being pretty loose with this. The last break is I want to make sure that this shoulder doesn't hit the ground. So I'm, I'm pressing my own elbow and knee together here to create a little bit of a slower motion on his ability to get out. And of course I can use this as well to try to break, and if we reverse those, my hand positions, those, those principles will remain the same, okay? Um, now, what we worked on on Monday was, you know, I need those breaks because otherwise everything happens so fast. Look, I still have that hair in me. <laughs> I'm coughing like a cat here. Um, I need those breaks to make the things that I want to do with my legs possible. So, you know, he's starting to escape. I have those breaks. He gets past that leg and paws. From here, he hasn't fully cleared my knee, okay? So I'm stretching this leg out. I start to touch my, my foot into the ground. I still have this hook here. And what I'm doing now is I'm starting to turn him with that leg, push him back over and establish my hooks on the other side. Okay. If he's again, I've got my brakes established, and we're starting to go down. And he, let's say now, he starts to keep to start going, escape, escape. Yeah, he's able to clear it. Like and now, my knee, he cleared my knee. And this is what we worked on Wednesday night tonight. Is now I need to go into like a system of, if I have this hook here, great. If I don't, we have solutions too. Is I'm going to kind of help him move in that direction, but I'm fundamentally keeping him from putting this shoulder onto the ground. So I'm gonna use my back leg to push up and I start to get on. And I put all my weight really into his shoulders and his head, which allows me to really move my legs up high. My left foot, which is off camera, I'm gonna turn that so that my toes are facing to the camera and from here, if I bring this leg up really high, I can start to push with it across my butt cheeks and bring them all the way back over to go to a body triangle or just take those, you know, basic grips that we talked about before and pretty close to, in this case, because of my hand configuration, a finish. Now, what you couldn't see from my back leg, in fact, let's just do that on the other side. Well, I feel like no matter how angle I try to film this from, you're probably gonna miss this back leg angle. When I come up on him, I put a lot of weight into here. This allows me to move my legs, okay? Because as I can kind of put weight here, I can move these legs up. And this foot, I'm gonna move this out of the way just so you can see it. If I stay on my instep and try to roll, I'll inevitably go across my shoulders. So when I get up to here, and I start to put all this weight in so I can bring my legs up nice and high, 
I'm gonna start by turning my toes and this allows me to get down on my hip first and then go across the butt cheeks and attach on the other side. But if you don't do that foot movement, you'll largely find yourself falling on your back. If you've got 300 pounds that you're, you're moving, they may just knock the wind out of you. If I go across in this motion, it's really quite strong and really hard for people to resist it, okay? So that's what we've been working on all week. Uh, we'll keep drilling it throughout the rest of the week.